pick up our puppy. Me and Gratz. We drove two hours from San Diego to Hesperia. It was a long drive. We're gonna pick up Draco for Mom House Garcy. Our newest addition to the kennel. Edelstein and Timitor Bloodline. We'll capture some of Diablo Jr., his dad. He's a massive dog. He weighs 155. He's a big guy. Draco. This is Draco. He is currently seven weeks old at the time of this recording. He's standing a bit odd right now, but it's because he's a little scared of heights at the moment. I got him at Farmhouse Imperial from Chris. He has a good program going over there with lots of good European and champion bloodlines. When I began looking for a dog, I did a lot of research on the breed, breeder, and looks of Rottweilers. And after doing lots of research and looking at many kennels. I chose to get a puppy from Chris because I really liked the way the parents looked, Diablo and Farina. I came to check them out prior to getting Draco and I was astonished with how big and good looking both parents were. That basically sealed the deal for me when choosing to get Draco. I had the first pick of the litter because I wanted to make sure I wanted to pick out the dog that fit all of my requirements. After researching, I decided I wanted to add the gorilla look or extreme look to my kennel, which is the short muzzle and broader shoulders, bigger bones, just like a wider dog in general. from Mexico. Come here, Vita. Come here, Draco.
<laughs> There's Bobby. She don't want to be your friend. Come on. Come on. Well, another thing I liked from Diablo Inferno was that Diablo had a really big head and a short muzzle with dark coloring. And that's something I wanted in my kennel. Another reason why I chose to get Draco is because Farina and Diablo have wonderful bloodlines such as Timitor and Edelstein. And those are two of the most famous and sought after European Rottweiler bloodlines. So in this series, Creating a Beast, we'll be basically showing how Draco progresses up to year one and beyond and we'll be showing his diet, exercises, tricks that we teach him, show him how we socialize him, take him places, and basically teach our audience how to raise their dog if they want. We'll give you guys tips, show you how we're gonna make him become our next stud, and basically, it's just seeing how he grows, seeing what it takes, what you gotta do to make your dog look good and be an obedient protector.